Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the presidential table, graduating students, faculty members, family, parents, friends, distinguished guests. Thank you all for being here on this very special event. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce the members of the presidential table. Mrs. Esther Jimenez Salinas, Rector of Ramon Llull University. Brother Michelangelo Barrabet, Director General of La Salle Campus Barcelona. Mr. Xavier San Martí, Director of the Technical Engineering School at La Salle Campus Barcelona. Mr. Chris Kennett, PhD, Professor of the Undergraduate International Business Programs at La Salle Campus Barcelona. And Mrs. Isabel Ullé, Director of the Undergraduate International Business Programs at La Salle Campus Barcelona, who I would like to now give the word to. Rector Magnificus of Universitat Ramon Llull, General Director of La Salle, members of the dais, professors, family, friends, and students, welcome. Congratulations to all students, family, friends, professors. Allow me to give you a universal welcome in my native Catalan language. Familiars i amics, casa nostra és casa vostra, sigueu benvinguts a La Salle, which means uh, our home is your home, and that you're more than welcome at La Salle. For many years, La Salle Business School has been positioning itself as a business school that fosters entrepreneurship. In the current economic environment, entrepreneurship is a powerful tool for creating business and engaging people to invest and developing a more dynamic economy. For more than a year now, starting with the first year marketing classes, we have been bringing international and local students from the business school and engineering school together. International and local students work in a global environment and in a transversal manner to prepare for the near future by creating synergies that may launch new products or new service into the market or even start new companies. That's why today I want to focus my speech on the meaning of creating value for companies and ultimately for society. As Guy Kawasaki says in his book, The Art of the Star, make meaning. The best reason to start an organization is to make meaning, to create a product or service that makes the world a better place. So your first task as graduates is to decide how you make meaning. Meaning is not about money, power, or prestige. It's not even about creating a fun place to work. Meaning can be defined as something to make the world a better place, to increase the quality of life, to right a terrible wrong, to prevent the end of something good. Goals such as this are tremendous advantage as you travel down into the difficult road ahead. The drive behind great organizations is a desire to make meaning. Having that desire doesn't guarantee that you will succeed, but it does mean that if you fail, at least, you fail doing something worthwhile. This has a special meaning when it comes to you, students graduating today. You are the meaning for La Salle to exist. Throughout these four years, the undergraduate business school has changed a lot, and it has not always been easy. We have all learned from this process. I most of all, let me say loudly and proudly that our students represent more than 35 nationalities. That is 35 cultures, plus the Spanish one, plus the Catalan one. That is a whole world in itself. Can you imagine this? Not an easy task. But I must tell you from La Salle, from the professors, especially from me, that it has been a pleasure to have had you as a student. You are the reason why our jobs have meaning. As I have worked close to you these last four years, you have given me to my job the meaning. And I want you to know that. I want to everybody know the great potential of our students have 
And I'm sure that Jens and Christian, I don't see them, where are they? Jens and Christian, who love sports, will be successful managers in that area. Jenia, one of our best students, I'm sure she will contribute to society and the music sector. Love, there is no doubt, he is the best ever negotiator. negotiator. You're always there, you're a great person. Linda, remember what a great job you do when you're really, when you're really passionate about something. Maren, fighting every day, even the strongest wins. You're great, you will be more than fine. Isabel, a fantastic student. You charm us all. What can I say? Marisol, you have an enormous potential. Don't ever forget that. Sara, Laura, and Martin, our local representatives in this international environment, you did a great job. Max, where's Max? It's a personality. If you use it currently, you will be a very good manager. Alex, Simon, and Henri, a smart, inquisitive, and fun person. You will do just great. Ralph, Andrew, you're a good person with good skills. Nico, we expect you to be successful in Panama or wherever you choose to try your entrepreneurial ideas. Timur, Marcos, and Pavel, we have worked together pretty close in the last few years. It is always amazing to see how all of you have developed and matured. Yaina and Isa. You've been just here for one year, and I have not had the opportunity to work that close with you, but I know from others that you reach your goals. And I have to especially congratulate you, Alexandra. Where is Alexandra? <laughs> you have been an amazing student, a brilliant person. As more and more people see this in you, you will take off in the world. La Salle as a whole, as the engineering school, as alumni, as professors, as staff, together we must continue promoting the future of our business school. The La Salle mission is to prepare students with the tools to develop successfully in life. And I believe that because all of you, we are on the right track. Thank you very much and congratulations. Muchas gracias y muchas felicidades. Thank you very much, Ms. Oye. And it's now my pleasure to introduce the keynote speaker of the evening, Professor Chris Kennett. Uh, Professor Kennett has a PhD in management from Loughborough University in the UK. He has been head of research at the Olympic Study Center at the Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona and has been a professor on various La Salle undergraduate and postgraduate programs for the last 10 years. He is currently also the manager of the MBA part-time program and Director of the Master in Creating Internet Businesses at Best La Salle. Professor Kennett will offer us a speech with the title, Connected. <clears throat> well, graduating class of 2011 is with great pleasure uh, and an honor to have been asked uh, to speak to you on such an important day in your academic careers. Today is a celebration of your time with us at La Salle, and it is a moment to reflect on what you have achieved and what the future may hold for you. So when I was asked to do the commencement speech today, I of course accepted with pleasure. I was surprised by the proposal as professors are not often asked to give commencement speeches to their own students. I was then happy as this gave me a chance to share with you some of the thoughts uh, after having got to know you pretty well as students over the years. Then I got slightly suspicious uh, and thought, well, maybe they've seen too much of me over the past four years. <laughs> and then they had to do this thing called a thesis. Uh, maybe it was a chance to get me on stage and then throw things at me. <laughs> uh, but on reflection, it's a really thoughtful and much appreciated gesture. And hopefully what I have to say to you will be relevant to you. So I started to prepare this speech and faced a, di a dilemma. What kind of speech should I write? Commencement speeches are fairly traditional and predictable in my experience and follow established accepted patterns. This is what the students and, the, and their parents would expect, I thought. So I set about writing what we'll call commencement speech 1.0, the traditional model. I'm an academic. <laughs> yeah. Fundamental to this process will be the application of all the good practices we've taught you over these years and some of the not so good ones I'm sure you will recognize. First step, find out what a good commencement speech should contain. What do you do? Google it. <laughs> To my joy, seven million hits. The first one, graduationwisdom.com. Ideal, I thought. 
And sure enough, there was a list of motivational quotes, top 10 graduation speeches of all time, the best speakers, best quotes, and so on. Maybe I'll just borrow a few of these. I thought, they're just what I wanted to say. Why reinvent the wheel? This guy, Steve Jobs, had made a pretty good job at Stanford a few years ago. Bill Gates had done the same at Harvard. Maybe I'll just stand on the shoulders of giants. These speeches dealt with common themes. The need to fulfill your potential, to be the best that you can be, to be ethical, maintain your values, to be brave and bold, to be true to yourselves, and embark on a new stage in the journey of life. All very commendable and important for young people who are standing on the threshold of their futures. But it had all been said before, and probably much better than I could say it myself. This was frustrating. All of the information I needed for this speech was already at my fingertips. This was too easy. Then I had a chat with Kevin Douglas, our law professor, who said, and I quote, you automatically have copyright in your speech, <laughs> as you have put it in tangible form, that you are delivering in a situation where confidence, meaning trust, is implied to exist, and you are implying the duty of confidentiality in this situation, and therefore nobody can use or pass on the contents, and I didn't really understand, <laughs> but I interpreted it as I don't copy. <laughs> so I deleted very quickly commencement speech 1.0 and started commencement speech 2.0. I thought, what do I really want to say? How can I make sure that this is me speaking and not the reconstructed words of a series of other commencement speeches, speakers? Where could I get some inspiration? What better place for commencement speech 2.0 than the crowd? I did a mini Wikipedia and crowdsourced some ideas. But not from just any crowd. I asked the professors what they would like to say to you. And after some serious editing and heavy censorship, these are some of their contributions. The group was described as being full of, a a a full of a diverse range of characters who were not slow to voice their opinions. A group that matured dramatically in their time at La Salle, learning how to negotiate and somehow maintaining harmony. It was also a group of contrasts, occasional conflicts with some issues among some of its members, for example, punctuality. I remember saying to one student that she arrived so late that she was early for the next class, <laughs> staying, staying awake in some cases, particularly at 8am in the morning, or simply physically being there. This apart, it was a group that uh, has, has been made stronger by its cultural diversity and the braveness of many of these young people to study in what is a foreign culture, and this will serve you as you enter into the tough world that awaits you. Above all, the professors said they enjoy teaching you. <coughs> And this made me think about harder about why I was asked, to, why I was asked to, to do this speech. I think it was because of my relationship with you. I thought about this and what defines our relationships and stu as students and teachers, as friends, as family, as members of communities. And the word that kept recurring in my mind was connected. We're all connected. By connected, I mean that we have a meaningful bond, something that keeps us together. Well, what created this bond? And the answer is learning. When we learn, we expose ourselves, our doubts, weaknesses, insecurities, and we challenge them. As teachers, I think our job is to help you challenge yourselves by opening ourselves to you, sharing our knowledge, experiences, and values. And that's what connects us as students and teachers. This kind of connection is strong and meaningful. This kind of connections make us all stronger, but these are limited to a number of our closest circle of people that give meaning to our lives. Others are your families who, you have, who have supported you in your university studies and to whom you should be eternally grateful. Your friendships, many of which have been made during your time here at La Salle and have made you stronger as you shared experiences, helping and encouraging one another when times were difficult and when celebrating your achievements as we're doing today. However, the contents of many of our classes here at La Salle have focused on how times are changing and how we are living in an increasingly global village network society in which we are increasingly connected and seemingly never disconnected from. We are increasingly connected with people in our communities and people that we are distant from have never met but still may have an important impact upon them. These weak relationships compared to those I just mentioned. These are, I suppose, friends in Facebook, contacts in LinkedIn, many of our followers in Twitter. Our reach is greater than ever our capacity to communicate through our connections more powerful than we perhaps realize. 
While this provides us with great opportunities, these come with great risks and responsibilities too. You are the connected generation. You have more connections to, any other pe to people than any other generation has had in history. Your challenge is to make those connections meaningful and to stand out from the crowd by making a unique contribution. You must ask difficult questions, questions that nobody has asked before, and not be scared to question your realities. Stop and th not only think, but rethink. Version 1.0 of this speech was too easy in, inter in the internet era. Version 2.0 has been more difficult, took much more time, but hopefully is more meaningful. I think the question for us is not the classic, not only the classic, what is the meaning of life, but what meaning does my life have? In a world of continuous, con continuous consumption, weak and vague politics, questionable moral and ethical values in the business world, I think in our society we're experiencing a, a crisis of collective identity produced by a lack of meaning, a lack of direction that your generation must now provide us. So whilst you're surrounded by a constantly growing network of weak connections, make sure you focus on the strong connections, family, friends, neighbours, your work colleagues, the people that, are surrounded, that surround you every day. Remember that these are the people that will give meaning to your lives. As a graduating class for 2011, I ask you to stay connected to each other and to us at LSIE. This will make you stronger as you embark on what I'm sure will be very successful futures. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you very much, Chris. That was a very meaningful speech. <laughs> and now this is the moment that you are all waiting for and the reason we are all here for, which is the awarding of the diplomas to the graduation class of 2011. So I would like to ask the members of the presidential table to stand up and the students, the graduating students to please come up as I call your name. So we will start with Marin Anderson from Norway, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. Eugenia Bavaeva from Germany. Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. <laughs> Ralph Bernard from Luxembourg, Bachelor of Business Administration. Bachelor of Business in International Relations and Bachelor of Business in Sports Management. Marcos Vigas from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in Sports Management. Isabel Bonn from Norway, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. Marti Casals from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration. Marisol Corridori from Italy, 
Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and Sports Management. Nicolas de Roche from Panama, <laughs> Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business in International Relations, and Bachelor of Business in Sports Management. Christian Dobrev from Bulgaria, <laughs> Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and Sports Management. <laughs> Aina Farré from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration. Yaitha Gongora from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration. Linda Gustafsson from Sweden, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and International Relations. Henri Howley from Antigua and Barbuda, <laughs> Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business in Sports Management, and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. <laughs> Pavel Hyde <laughs> from Russia, Bachelor of Business Administration. Jens Hals from Norway, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and Sports Management. <laughs> Alexandra Jarosinska from Poland, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and International Relations. <laughs> Alexander Lork from Norway, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business and International Relations. Laura Meca from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Lav Mehta from India, Bachelor of Business Administration 
and Bachelor of Business and Sports Management. Simon Holm Oyen from Norway, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. Maximilian Ott from Germany. Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in Sports Management. <laughs> Sara Tendero from Spain, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. Andrew J. Weir from South Africa, Bachelor of Business Administration. Timur Yakubov from Russia, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business in International Relations. Mm. Yeah, and I think there's one student that uh, wasn't able to come, so I suppose we have to keep her diploma and give it to her later. <laughs> I can keep it. Okay. Uh, congratulations, students. Well done. And uh, now it is time for the commencement speech by the to be delivered by students Jens Olst and Eugenia Baveva, but you can clap before that. <laughs> yeah. You can please come up when you... Jens, Jens Holst and... Okay. Oh, there you are. Sorry. I try. Okay. Good evening, fellow graduates, professors, family, friends, and well, and others. <laughs> we are here. The day has finally come. We are done. Well, more, some more than others, <laughs> but nevertheless, we're graduating. Four years ago, I couldn't wait for this moment to come. Now that it's here, I couldn't have any more mixed feelings. It's funny how you can feel happy and excited about surviving the long and sometimes painful years of university, yet at the same time be sad and very fearful that this time has ended. People will ask me what made those four years unforgettable. Well, for once, I had the honor to sit in class with professors who inspired me, challenged me, opened my mind, and taught me things that I would never forget. I mean, who could forget that there is no such thing as a free lunch, but the free rider problem will always exist? Or that business is a race without a finishing line? Or that variability will always be the devil? <laughs> and my favorite, MPW is always king. Also contributing to making these four years unforgettable will always be Isabel Oyer, who I know we weren't always easy with you and the, in easy class, but you always supported us, and I want to say thank, thank you for that. And I bet your email account will be happy we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Olga Garcia, 
Where's Olga? Thank you so much. You always have a smile on your face. Always. And thank you so much for every last minute printing you did, like with my speech. <laughs> But what really made those four years unforgettable are those people that are sitting here in front of me in caps and gowns. Dressed up and suited up, just as Barney Stinson would like it. I came to Barcelona not knowing anybody here. Now I'm finishing university having met people that are awesome and that at times had to become the substitution of my family here. We laughed, we cried, we fought, we hugged, we made all-nighters just to hand in papers and projects, we rocked the clubs of Barcelona, we barbecued until the neighbors came, and we sang karaoke. And we sang, huh? Eh? <laughs> I could have never imagined that people from such diverse backgrounds, as Chris Kennett has said, could become such a team and such a family and help each other to grow so much personally. Oscar Wilde once said, education is an admirable thing, but it's well to remember from time to time that nothing that is worth knowing can be taught. I think I rest my case here because I think the most valuable lessons that I learned did not come from sitting in class as much as I loved all the professors. It actually came from situations and moments that I lived through with the people that are sitting right in front of me and standing here. <laughs> and for people that I've met in this university which are not part of our class. I know that most of us are sitting here today and thinking, what now? Unfortunately, I don't know the answers to this. But one thing I know, I have 23 we are, I think, 23 people. <laughs> people sitting here in front of me who are just talented and have such a personality that I know that all of us are gonna make, make it in the future. I know that each one of us has a Peter Pan inside, but today we're making the first step to leave Never Neverland and to enter the world of adulthood. But by all means, do not kill the, the child in yourself. Just keep control of it. <laughs> Well, I didn't really make an um, end to my speech because I don't know what to say anymore. I don't want to make it too sad. I don't want to make it um, too cheesy. I just really, really, really want you all to be happy. And I don't want to make it as a goodbye speech or whatever because I know it's not going to be a goodbye forever. I just wish you the best luck in the world. Thank you, Jenna. That was very beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I actually believe it. Huh? Oh, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to at least gonna try to. I think it's probably the first time I got all of you guys' attention, no? There's no, <laughs> the, there's no Angry Birds. There's no laptops. There's uh, the Blackberry sisters even don't have their device up, so... <laughs> pressure. Pressure. Ben Lugut, Tot, dear family and friends, dear professors, dear members of the presenter table, dear fellow graduates, Shara Allah um, Salman. After finishing a slightly provocative uh, presentation in second year, I was told by um, Chris Kennett, and I quote, Jens, you know you're not graduating from this university. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, I'm standing here. I got my <laughs> diploma. <laughs> But... Um, <laughs> But I assure you, there's no hidden Liverpool agenda this time. Um, I have to say, going to university, I don't really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I was supposed to listen to my friends say it was going to be very, 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 very hard, or people saying it's going to be a walk in the park. Uh, it's been everything but a walk in the park, several occasions. Special thanks goes out to Carlos from the cafeteria regarding that. <laughs> but I also know that we haven't been the easiest class Um, and with the professors and Isabel uh, and Olga, uh, I want to thank you for all, all your help. Um, we're not the easiest class, but I think looking at the classes that graduated years ago and the class that are under us, I do believe that we are one of the most diverse classes that are graduating from La Salle. And I, I feel that this diversity has been able to come out uh, of us because of the inclusion of historical, sociological classes and also, of course, Herman Aragon's 
business ethics, where he's always been help uh, spark intense discussions through his catchphrase, Hey man, I'm just trying to be dev devil's advocate here. <laughs> As a, as a result of this diversity, it's quite hard for me to reflect for everyone what they have learned and what they have gained out of these four years of university. Um, so I don't want to generalize any of these reflections, but I do want to leave you with one word of advice that I, uh, that I hope they would take with you in the future. And that is, uh, whenever you have to make an important decision, being personal, being professional, I, I want you all to, to, to think in the long term. Uh, we have read, heard, been seen so many ex uh, examples of CEOs and government officials and people have been thinking long term, now short term for, and we've seen the devastation that I have caused. Um, so no matter how, how tempting it might be and how prosperous the gains might be, um, you're gonna have to live with your decisions and I just hope that you and me and we all uh, are able to get to make the best decision that we can possibly make in the future. Um, moving away from the seriosity here a little bit. Um, I thought it would be nice to closing with mentioning what I feel that our legacy would be like the class of 2011, what that would be like. And I think we have helped put a great emphasis of uh, attendance, especially in the first year and punctuality. Um, we have Mel, Hape Mel International Food Day, a great tradition, and finally we have um, we have international, uh, international flavor to the La Saia Festival. We were the ones that initiated the, in the, the now annual charity day. Uh, I really hope that this continues uh, in the future. So Isabel, I will be, I will be checking up. Um, and finally, it looks like the trend is to turn in thesis in September, isn't it? Um, look, look, looking at my grad, maybe I should have done the same. Uh, to the class of 2011, I want to thank you, every single one of you, for helping making this experience as unique as as wonderful as it, as it have been. A special thanks goes out to Team 5 and the professors that couldn't be here today, Uncle Henry, <laughs> Professor Campbell, and Professor Connolly. I know I'm speaking, of the bottom of, I'm speaking on behalf of everyone when I say that we are missing you here today. Well, I guess, that, that, I guess that's it. To everyone in the class of graduating, the graduating, graduating class of 2011, uh, congratulations. We actually made it. And remember, be awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jens and Genia. That was a very good speech. And once again, congratulations to all the students. Well done and all the best. Uh, it is now the turn to present the award to the best final thesis. And I would like to call Professor Paul Fox. Paul Fox. I wrote down a few notes, and some of you are thinking, oh, the technology professor's showing off. He has it on his <laughs> iPhone. But the truth is, uh, I tried to print it out and couldn't, and so that's why it's on my iPhone, which tells you something about my technology classes. Uh, so the, the final thesis project brings an end to four years of study, and it's the most intensive experience that students have to complete in the program. Maybe the UN is close, but it's uh, very intensive, we know. Um, the students have a choice of either doing a research thesis or writing a business plan for a new business idea. I'm here to give the award for the year's best thesis. While there are many excellent theses this year, as my PhD thesis supervisor has told me for the last six years and continues to tell me, uh, the best thesis is a finished thesis. And some of you can relate to this, I think. Uh, our recipient for best thesis this year goes to a student who, who has done excellent work here at La Salle. Um, the thesis topic she chose was challenging and relevant. The structure, data collection, analysis, and analysis were all excellent. And she brought a personal connection and passion for the topic, which really came through in the final result. 
So it gives me great pleasure to present this year's award for best thesis to Alexandra Yarzinska. Congratulations, Alexander, for your excellent work. And it is now the turn to present the prize for the best business plan of 2011. And I would like to call Professor Brian McGarry. Uh, just a few old fashioned scribbled notes. Um, <laughs> I hope, I hope this isn't the first time I've had your attention as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, the winner of this reward, award has the distinction and maybe the good fortune uh, not to have studied economics in first year with me. So uh, I just trust that that's not the reason why the business plan is so good. Um, the winning plan is, uh, is an excellent piece of work. It was very well structured, very well researched, very well analyzed very well written, and of course, uh, it made a very strong case for a feasible and successful business project. Um, and I also feel I just want to make one point about it. I feel it, it's, a, it's a plan that's testi testimony to the excellence of the student's work during his years at Le Sayé, and not only the academic work he's done, but also the manner in which he has sort of capitalized on the uh, non-academic uh, opportunities that has come his way. His, you know, his involvement in the trip to Brussels and the visits to the EU institutions, the UN project, uh, his involvement with the Wall Street Journal Leadership Institute, and his subsequent sponsored trip to India, where the idea uh, for this and the support, the idea for this and support for this project came. And I think all this non-academic experience, uh, this accumulated knowledge, is reflected in the plan. Uh, and made it such a good work. Of course, you all know who I'm, who I'm talking about at this stage. Uh, Lav Meta. Congratulations, Lav. Well done. And now, um, Professor Germán Aragón will present us the United Nations program for 2011. I don't need to call you because you already covered it. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look so serious. Every year, 5,000 students from around the world gather to compete in the National Model United Nations Project in New York City. The purpose is for the students to debate and to find solutions for problems that conflict our world. Bess LaSalle has been participating in this conference since 2005 representing such diverse countries as Burundi, Colombia, Uzbekistan, Malaysia, and Bahrain. This year, Bess LaSalle was fortunate enough to be awarded an honorable mention certificate in representing the Republic of Nepal. The students have made this possible through their hard work and dedication. During the last three years are, and as I call your name, please stand up. Linda Gustafsson. <laughs> Ho 
who represented Malaysia, remember? Jens Holtz. The Kingdom of Bahrain. Andrew Weir. The Kingdom of Bahrain. Lav Meta, the Kingdom of Bahrain. And the team this year that represented the Republic of Nepal, Andrew York. Alex, I'm sorry, Alex York. Jania Baba Eva. Isabel Bon. Marin Anderson. Sarah Tendero. Simon Holmes Owen. Simon? It's really not surprising that we won this award, that you won this award, considering the diversity of the students that we have here. I congratulate you all for all of your help, and thank you very much for representing us so well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Germán. Uh, I would now like to invite Mr. Ricard Moulins up on stage. Uh, Mr. Moulins is, the member of, is a member of the Board of Directors of La Salle Alumni, and he would like to briefly present you some of the services that the Alumni Association has to offer you. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen from presidency table, professors, students, students' families, congratulations on completing your bachelor's degree in business administration. Even though you can keep in touch with your classmates after receiving your degree, you will probably lose part of this strong relationship that you have developed during last, the last four years in Barcelona. Hopefully not. Either way, you have spent four years of your life here, in La Salle, on campus, studying hard and creating a student community. Jenny said, and now, what now? You said, well, I have little of the solution. <laughs> now, is, as soon as you cross that door, remember that the door back to La Salle is La Salle Alumni Association. La Salle Alumni offers you some services that hopefully can provide you some valuable help in the future, such as the International Job Center that we are working to create, contacts with knowledge community, and so on. We can help you in developing your professional career. We can inform you of opportunities when you look for a job. We can give you advice and help if you need it. We can help you in getting into the professional world. Today, I'm here to inform you what we offer through La Salle Alumni. And I will be very happy when in the future, you do the same for the new and younger students. If you want to join us or simply get more information, we can talk later or come visit our office, which is located in ground floor of this building. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you, Ricard. Uh, it is now the turn for a few words from Brother Michelangelo Barrabet, the Director General of La Salle Campus Barcelona. Uh, Brother Barrabet is going to give his speech in Catalan and English. For all of you, you have the translation of the Catalan part into English, so you can follow. You had it on your chairs, so you can follow his, his speech. Gracias. Welcome, students. Benvolguts, benvolgudes alumnes, familiars, professors, autoritats acadèmiques. Un dels vostres companys, Claudio Di Giorgio, deia en un vídeo, i ho deia en italià, em sembla, tota l'estrada portant-ho a Roma, tot convergeix cap a un punt. I per vosaltres, Barcelona no és un punt en un mapa. 
he vingut vosaltres, he vingut molts, de molts punts llunyans. I heu trobat un camí de formació i un camí de creixement. Barcelona és una paraula que ha adquirit significat. Avui n'hem parlat molt del significat. I heu dedicat els vostres esforços per estudiar, per aprendre, per formar-vos. I avui, nosaltres, ens és especialment grat de poder-vos felicitar. Heu fet una bona feina, heu completat la vostra titulació. Enhorabona. Enhorabona. Hi ha un error a la traducció. En el text diu «From now you are part of la sal». No, jo volia dir una altra cosa. Jo volia dir «D'ara en endavant, from now and forever, you are la sal». Vosaltres sou la sal. Així com aquesta escola d'ara en endavant ja és la vostra escola, així mateix vosaltres sou els nostres ambaixadors. El rostre de feis, el rostre de les persones que heu passat per aquí. El rostre dels que ens quedem aquí. I en bona part també dels que vindran després. La claredat del vostre rostre, la transparència del vostre rostre, del vostre fer i del vostre ser, serà també la visibilitat de nosaltres, que de tots nosaltres tindran les persones que coneixereu. I com més creixi l'estima que tingueu per la vostra escola, així també creixerà la valoració que de vosaltres faran que us coneguin. Quina cosa més curiosa. Com més estimem, més ens estimen. La salle tindrà significat per vosaltres tant com vosaltres mateixos sou apreciats i valorats per la salle. Vosaltres heu tingut també l'experiència de la cultura, de la trobada de cultures i pensaments. Heu heu treballat, heu conviscut, us heu trobat, heu gaudit amb persones que no coneixíeu, que venen d'experiències en àmbits diferents dels vostres. Heu pogut participar en programes internacionals i al final els vostres professors i jo mateix en aquest moment us estem dient que la veritable construcció comença per un mateix. Els principals valors els hem de treballar i tenir dins nostre i en això en construir-nos, en treballar els nostres valors, mai estarem sols. Mireu, hi ha un element que és aquest element, el trobareu vosaltres en els vostres seients. Aquí posa indivisa manen, això és llatí. Indivisa manen és el lema de l'escut de la família de la Salle, la família carnal, o sigui, la persona de la Salle, la seva família tenia aquest escut. I fa referència a una llegenda antiga de la família que parlava de superació i esforç. I aquesta llegenda és reconeguda com a valor i transmesa a totes les generacions d'antics alumnes. Aquest és l'acte, us transmetem aquesta llegenda. Aquesta llegenda la trobareu aquí escrita, forma part del record d'avui. Una de les anelles us la quedeu vosaltres, l'altra ho sabeu, la penjarem allà al final. Estarà aquí amb la d'altres companys que us han precedit i amb els companys que vindran. Indivisa manen vol dir romandre units. Staying together. Romandre units. Vol dir reconeixes. Compartir projectes i valors comuns. I a mi m'agradaria que aquest fos el significat d'aquest acte que avui estem fent, aquest últim acte de la vostra escola. Felicitats, congratulacions. Thank you, Brother Michelangelo. Ladies and gentlemen, the closing speech will be delivered by the rector of Ramon Llull University, Mr. Mrs. Esther Jiménez Salinas. Germà uh, Michelangelo Barravets, members de la taula, Bachelor of Business Programs graduates, teachers, parents, dear audience. I would first like to congratulate all our international Bachelor of Business Programs graduates. Yesterday, you were students, but today, you leave that behind as you enter the adult world. It is like when you were 17 years, 11 months, and 30 days old. The next day, you legally become an adult with all its advantage and responsibility. 
I would also like to congratulate your family, especially your parents, who along with you are the start from this event. Today you will be the first recipients to earn the degree of graduate in management of business and technology from this university. This program was funded with a clear mission to break the mold and to fit into the advances and synergies of the 21st century. Throughout your lifetime, you will gain and lose many things, but no one can object that you are the first class to attain a degree with so much projection. This is a degree that will never expire or lose value. Some of you may continue to study and work towards more degrees, but this particular one you have already earned and it's your forever. Certainly we designed this degree, we took into account what we companies demands, how could we prepare students to shorten the distance between theory and practice, and how to put together all this from an international perspective. That's why today we have here 25 students who come not only, not only, it's very few from Spain or Catalonia, from many, many different countries, Norway, Germany, Luxembourg, Italy, Panama, Belgium, France, Russia, Poland, India, Qatar, etc., etc. So I try to say, felicitats, felicidades, gratulator, herzlichen Glückwunsch, felicitazione, felicitación, postraf, liayu, <laughs> gratulaje, shup, mambrok, aleiki, etc., etc. It's very, very difficult. <laughs> I've been told that your study have been mostly in English, but I am sure that during your stay in Barcelona, you have learned our language, or at least some essential words, such as estudias o trabajas, en tu casa o en la mía, Ponme una cerveza. De verdad cerráis a las seis. Un mojito, cinco euros. Y también en catalá. Creo que estoy como una gamba. O como arriba a la playa. The city of Barcelona will always be an important part of the memories from these key years of your lives, as well as La Salle, an institution which you will be especially connected to. And you will, you will feel attached not only to the center where you have studied, but also to over 70 business centers around the world, and especially to the one in Philadelphia from which many of you will obtain a double degree. You are said to be the best educated generation in recent times, and that's true. Sometimes we are worried because being such well-prepared students, sometimes the labor labor market offers are not the most appropriate ones. And certainly the current economic crisis we are suffering scares everyone, especially the youth. Don't worry. I can tell you from personal experience, well-prepared people are always needed. What is certain, is that we are facing a global market and surely the best job offers will not only be found in your city, region or country. But this is something you shouldn't worry about. In the same way that you were born in the digital era, you are also part of an idea, which is that of being citizens of the world. Today we need courageous, intrepid youth, depending on your point of view, the future can mean many things. For the weak, it is impossible. For the fearful, it is the unknown. For the brave, and I think you are, it's opportunities. Quería deciros no solo, no solo, lo digo muy despacio, no solo algunas palabras que conocéis bien en español, como las que he dicho antes, sino que hoy, que es un día de éxito, 
deciros que los éxitos y los fracasos van siempre juntos y que solo se consiguen los éxitos si además se tienen algunos fracasos, que esos son también importantes en la vida. Dos, sois muy jóvenes, la palabra amor, love, y no la digo en todas las lenguas, la entendéis bien. Amar vuestro trabajo, porque eso, enamoraros de vuestro trabajo, porque eso también, también va a ser vuestro futuro. Y tres, tenéis la obligación, la obligación, no el deseo, la obligación de dejar un mundo mejor del que os encontrasteis. We are reaching on the end the ceremony. Today is already tomorrow. And today is yours. Unamuno, you know Unamuno, something, you know where Unamuno was, the famous Spanish philosopher who lived many, many years in exile said, procuremos ser padres de nuestro porvenir más que hijos de nuestro pasado. Try to be the parents of your future rather than the children of your past. Inside each of you is the ability to make the world a better place and the power to correct the mistakes of the past generation. The truth is that when I see you all here today, you show a warmth, joy, and confidence which is extremely contagious. I hope that all your wishes are fulfilled and that your dreams come true. And when someone tries to make fun of you, of your dreams, remind them that you can kill the dreamer, but never, never the dream. Congratulations, congratulations the family, uh, congratulations the professors, and mucha, mucha suerte. Thank you very much, Mrs. Jimenez Salinas. Uh, dear all, on behalf of La Salle, I would like to thank you all for joining us this evening and making this event so special. And I would now like to invite you all to come outside for the tossing of the caps and the photographs and join us for the cocktail later on as well. Have a great evening. Make it last till six o'clock at least. <laughs> and have a good time. <laughs>